for my brand new NTT series, okay? And this is, series is a different one, and we're going to be using my custom bears. Now, fortunately for you, I've already made my custom uh, bears uh, mastery video, so feel free to check it out if you want to use these attacks and this technique, and you want to, you know, master him. I've already made that video about it, so feel free to check it out. Um, after you watch this video, but this video I'm going to be using my custom bears for one of uh, for actually two reasons total one He's a character that has the healing super soul and two uh, Well in the healing super soul is very well. I shall return time So what that means is as long as I perfect block I'll gain some health back and the second reason I'm using him is because he does not have an invisible back here so I can show you right here um, in a minute that he does not have an invisible back hit um, so, so why am I bringing that up? Because in my Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta training video, I showed you how as long as you have an invincible back hit character, for example, Super Saiyan 4 uh, Gogeta, you can use that invincible back hit and get out of uh, any type of uh, evasive spam like, um, uh, you know, you have fake blast, you got explosion wave, you have E barrier, you know, you can get out of that as long as you're using a charged back hit, then you won't be... Uh, affected by their evasive in any way shape or form however this video shows you what to do even if you do not have a character with an invisible back end. so let me show you what that looks like so you can see if we don't do anything and this is what mainly happens people go into attack then they get hit by the evasive and now that now they're in their opponent's uh, combo you can see he does not have an invisible back hit so i'm clearly back hitting and i still take uh damage to it so how do you overcome it? This is a method that works 100% of the time. However, you have to know exactly what you're doing. And you have to be fast because as you can see, it is a fast acting evasive. And you don't have much room to, to, to work with. So what you do is, so let me show you what it looks like and then I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so as you can see, I just did it five times in a row, but I knew exactly what I was doing. So, how do you do the perfect block of the um, E-Barrier? So, now this is in training room, right? So, obviously, you need to train with this a lot, and you're going to have to train with it a lot. Um, because, again, you have to be very fast with it. You don't have much leeway. You don't have much room or opportunity to fuck it up. Because you literally have about half a second to pull it off. And you have to do three things in order. You have to, you literally have like half a little, you have half of a second to do three things. <laughs> you need to do three button inputs to, to perfectly, uh, perfect block it. Now, what that, what those three things are, you have to, you have to key stun or key cancel. Generally, it would be key cancel because you're trying to cancel out of your uh, combo, right? So what you do is you cancel, key cancel, um, just like just like I've always shown you, right? And then you need a dash forward. Now, however, you see what a dash looks like, right? It is a dash forward, but you don't want to fully dash forward. You need to interrupt the dash forward with a block. What that means is you press the block button. So what that looks like is you see. That's literally what you're doing, in which you use the key, can you, what you use the key blast for, to, to cancel out of your attack. So if you're like, let's say like you're doing like this, right? Then you cancel, and then you know it's literally this. This is how it would look like. Now, now to to get the hang of it and to doing in PvP, you need a you need to cancel out of your attack by using the key blast, the key cancel, and then you literally dash forward and block. That's forward and block. Forward and block. Forward and block. Now, to, how to perfect block it, that's what, that is literally all I did. That is all I was doing. But it is very hard to do because you have to be fast. But once you pay attention, because for instance, you literally, you should not be doing a full dash. You need to be pressing that, that block button right after you dash. That way you don't get knocked back. So that is how you perfect block the E barrier. And obviously... Since I'm using an attack, I mean, um, a super soul, like, um, very well, I said return time. I'll show you, I can get some health back. Um, yeah, I'll just set it to normal. Uh, yeah, so, so let me show you what that, what that looks like. Oh, see, I messed it up. Gotta be fast. 
So let me let me let's actually put that on unlimited. Let's do that again. So as you can see, five times in a row, I just did it. But you can see, you have to be very fast. I even had to stop speaking. That way, I could be fast enough and focus on what I was doing. Cause that timing is everything. So as long as you can, um. Again, you only cancel, you only use the key blast when you need to cancel out of your combo. And then right after, immediately after that, like literally, remember, you only have half of a second to do the whole thing. You have to dash forward and block. So again, what that looks like, not saying that was too fast. Jeez. You can see it is very difficult to do. But once you get the hang of it, let's see if we can go on a with it. Let's see if we can get our full health back. Maybe that twice. But anyway, you get my point. It is very difficult to do, but as long as you do it correctly, you will literally perfect block all of their your opponent's E barriers. Also, there is another technique you can use to counter the E barriers. But I'm just trying to get full health. <laughs> like damn, this shit is really <laughs> it is hard. <laughs> for sure, it is definitely hard. For sure, definitely hard. Let's see if I can just get that green health bar all the way up. Jeez, keep messing up. There we go. Okay, we made it. But yeah, so you definitely see it's very difficult to do. But you can clearly see when I was doing it like on a streak was like five, six times in a row. You can definitely see that it works every time you do it right. So again, you have to be fast with it. You need to cancel out of your animation, hence the key buzz. That's forward and block. Now, why is it that I'm not perfect blocking it right now? Why am I just blocking it? That's just because I'm not actually in an attack. So when you saw me doing um, this, that was me canceling out of my attack. That was a prime example of what it would look like if you were actually attacking. So as you can see, you need to cancel out of your attack. You need to blast, and then you block. Uh, you dash forward, and then you block. Then you go one more time, just for show. You definitely have to play around with this. This is a mastery. This is like if this was Skyrim lock pick, locksmithing, uh, lock picking thing, you would have to have like 100 in lock picking. Like this is, you get my point. This is incredibly hard to do. Okay, damn. Anyway, you see what I'm saying. So again, this does not just work with um, Beerus. You know, this obviously works with any character as long as you're dashing forward and perfect blocking immediately after, or just blocking immediately after, you will perfect block it, which will decrease your opponent's stamina. Again, I use my custom Beerus because he has the healing super soul, which means you'll get health back every time you perfect block it. Now, let me show you the other way you can you can um, get out of that evasive because you know a lot of people considered um, Aura Slide to be cheese, but Aura Slide may be cheese worthy ish. And you can definitely see I'm not really agreeing too much with that statement. I don't really find Aura, Aura, Aura Slide to be a cheese technique. It's just most of the community does. Uh, you might too. That's why I'm saying it just in case, but I definitely I don't think it's a cheese move um, So so what you do is you use aura slide literally as your opponent activates it So once you see that stamina goes down you just activate the aura slide and You should see as I'm about to show you you won't get knocked back Oh, actually, um, let me actually decrease that to auto recovery. Whoa. There we go. Okay. We gotta get to this one. Jeez. I guarantee this works just fine on PvP. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's try it one more time. Yo, it's okay. Hold on. There we go. 
So it sucks because against a computer, you know, you gotta I have to actually wait longer than I would have to in PvP. Because by now in PvP, I would just be activating it like this and I'd be good. But on you know against cell for some well against you know a computer, it doesn't let me do that. So I actually have to like wait longer than I normally would, which is why I kept messing with it earlier. I was not aware of that. And now, as you can see, it works every time, just like with the perfect block. And also with the perfect block, you can see that's what works too with any character. Um, yeah. So that is how you can beat the E barrier cheese, because that is still a very com uh, common form of evasive cheese, and a lot of people still use it. Hopefully in this video, you just learn how to beat it because it is definitely beatable, for sure. For sure, it's definitely beatable. And um, not only is it beatable, you can defeat your opponent using cast characters. And, and if they're spamming E-Barrier, you will like, be A-OK -okay as long as you master these techniques. So again, you have either the perfect block or you have the aura side. And either one works. So lit literally, you can you can use Goku Black and do both of them, or you can just use like Wii's or like um, custom bears or very well. You can get free health back every time you perfect block. But as you can clearly see this works with any character, and with a character like a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta who has an invincible back hit, you can just you know charge the back hit. You can get out of their attack and you'll be a okay. So these are the methods to beating um to to the, the to uh getting out of that evasive cheese um, while using cast characters. Now, obviously, with, with your CAC, you have a hell of a lot more options, but with the limited set of moves on these cast characters, I just wanted to show you a way that you can... Um, that was a wrong move. I just wanted to show you the, the way you can uh, beat this form of cheese because a lot of people still struggle with it, and that, that makes them like not really use cast characters too much in rank because they know if they fight someone with e-barrier then they feel like they're going to be screwed but hopefully with this video you'll learn that you won't in fact be screwed again with the with the with the perfect block you just have to cancel out of your uh combo and you just dash forward and block dash forward and block forward and block oh see i didn't see with that see, so let me show you what that is, say right here, you can clearly see the E barrier is already starting to form, but I haven't canceled out of my uh, attack. Why haven't I canceled out of it, even though I popped the, the key blast, like I said to do the entire video? Because right immediately after you pop the key blast, you have to dash forward, which is why I told you to make sure you're dashing forward. Because if you don't, that happens. You can see, I even though, yes, I canceled out of it, but the canceling was too slow, which means I didn't dash forward fast enough. So what it needs to look like is like this. That's how you perfect block it. Because remember, right after you, you cancel it, you dash forward and block, and you will be good to go. Um, but yeah, folks, that is how you beat the e barrier cheese. I really hope you learned something from this video. I know a lot of people do not know how to beat that cheese using cast characters, especially since they have a limited set of moves. But yeah, folks, that is how you can beat that e barrier cheese. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you found it interesting. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.